So we have the last update, actually last update available for rising OS and this time this is the EOL update. In other words, you can say end of life and yes, Android 14, it is the last update based on Android 14 for rising OS and yes, that is one of the reasons which you should install. Why you should install this update because all the features which you are getting right now in this update could be the last ones because with Android 15, these features might not be available in the initial stage. Not so sure, but maybe. One of the things which I found with this new update, which is version 5.2.1, is the settings UI icons, if you are able to notice here, the settings styles. And you have these options available in the user interface, settings UI. In the previous update, you had the options related to rising OS 1. Basically, you can say, in other words, that you have the option for rising UI 2.0, rising UI 1.0. But with this new update, we have the colorful styles, we have this oxygen OS style, is if you are able to notice here. this. Can of settings ui is available here in this case and yes personally speaking it's looking quite impressive it's looking quite good here it's not just that we already have some other options for example this is the one or in simple words in other words you can say this is material use style which is definitely looking good whenever you change wallpaper the colors will be changed of settings app too this is what we have with this new update and this is one of the major changes available in rising os 2.1 basically 5.2.1 in other words you can say and what else we have with this new update unfortunately it's not a major update it's just a minor update so we do not have any major changes but still if you move on to the battery section you will find some amazing options related to battery for example, healthy charge option is present here. If you enable this option, you have these options available like charging level threshold and low battery level and you can customize these things. You also have the option for other things. For example, you can choose a charging control that is actually quite useful. You have some kernel based tweaking available depending upon which device you are using and of course a lot more things. So yes, the good thing about this custom room is to think about the battery backup for a lot of users. If you need better battery backup, you have a lot of tweaks available for you. Another thing which is already available from the past few updates but in case you don't know if you check out the key attestation demo where you can find out if a device bootloader is spoofed or not. By default definitely my device bootloader is unlocked I am able to install custom rooms but in this case bootloader is showing as locked so I will be able to use all the banking apps without any issues. The good things, let's find out some of the great things about this custom room. For example, the quick switch option. So you can switch between the different launchers. By default, in this case, it's pixel launcher. I can switch between launcher or quick step launcher in case I want to. Some spoofing options are just so good. The good thing about this one is you also have the option for this per app props JSON file, which means in case the default one, the file which is already integrated in this case is not working, you can use a custom file, custom play integrity fix, and that is available in the Rising OS support group. You can find out that on Telegram. Also, if you move on to security options, the features which you actually need in a custom room are already present here, like no storage restrict and the ignore window secure flags, hide screen capture status, and of course, hiding the developer status. So these things are just so useful, actually have to be present and these things are available here. Another, another which actually, which is a good, amazing option, in other words, you can say is gestures. We have the shake gestures, we have three finger swipe gestures, we have three finger hold gestures are quite common, available in other custom rooms already, but available in this custom room too. Some extras also has the option named cache cleaner, which is a new thing, which is not actually in this update, but available from past few updates, but actually a new thing, I don't think so it's available in some other custom rooms. So you can enable this thing to automatically clear app cache whenever you launch that app and maybe after a certain amount of time. Not a bad thing, it's a good thing too. But yes, all those things apart, the great thing about this one is the backup these settings. Like if you have a lot of customizations enabled in a custom room, sometimes you don't know which thing is happened in your device and which thing you have applied, which option you have applied. So in that case, you can take the backup of all the settings and you can restore that at any moment you want to. Could be a very, very useful thing. Other than else, all these features are already present in the previous updates too. Some lock screen customizations are there, which are just so good. Status bar customizations and launcher and a lot more things. So check them out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.